Hello, and welcome to Electrical and HVAC Training Center. My name is Robert McLaughlin, and I'm here today to go over what Electrical and HVAC Training Center has to offer. We are located at 65 Elm Street in Copac, New York. So we are conveniently located right at the borderline of Nassau and Suffolk County. We um, are located right down the street from Copac train station in between, you know, Southern West Highway and Southern State. So we're very conveniently located. Um, we are, as a school, we are New York State approved private career training school. We are also a nationally accredited uh, institution and we also offer financial aid. So today I'd like to review a couple of the top reasons on why you'd want to train with us. So when looking for a career, you want to do your research. And today I hope that I will be able to give you enough information that you'll learn something about the industries and about the methodologies on how we train here in our school. So our programs are conveniently offered. We have schedules because we know everyone's life's a little bit different, right? You know, you know, some people work in the morning, work at night. So our programs, we have a daytime program that starts at 8 a.m. and goes to 2.30. We have afternoon sessions, which go from 2.45 to 5.45. We also have an evening sessions that go from 6 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. So really, depending upon your schedule, you can find time to train. So we've taken that variable out because you know, to learn a new career sometimes takes a sacrifice, and sometimes that sacrifice is a schedule. Hopefully one of those schedules works for you and your family. So I'd also like now to go over, um, you know, what is it that electrical and HVAC training center train on? Well, it's in our name. We train on the HVAC industry, and the HVAC industry, if anyone uh, does not know, HVAC is HVAC slash R, stands for heating, air conditioning, ventilation, and refrigeration. And then we also train on the electrical industry. So those are both two skilled trades in which we, um, believe it or not, the school when it opened in 2003, opened just with the electrical industry. Um, but there are so many similarities and so many electrical um, components involved in the HVAC that it was a natural progression for electrical training center um, to incorporate the HVAC into the school. So now we have two career paths in which you can um, consider um, you know, go through and see which one's right for you. Um, so I'd like to just kind of make a statement towards careers. You know, what is a career? A career is something that you're going to find yourself doing for, hey, in the next 30, 40 years. So you don't want to find a career that leaves you at a dead end. You don't want to find a career that you get bored of and get burnt out. You want to find a career that you can always move up um, and, you know, keep attaining skill and, you know, moving and progressing to maybe, hey, one day you'd be, you know, so to speak, figuratively and literally in the trenches digging and, you know, laying out the conduits to maybe some days actually designing and developing the job. Uh, maybe taking your skills and bringing it into a corporate environment, sales. So there's a lot of opportunity. Um, and that's something we want you to keep in mind when you're choosing a career. Where you start today doesn't mean that's where you're gonna end up. It's all about the effort you put in so that you can use the skills you gain now to help you get to where you want to go. All right, and not be, you know, kept out of any options of career or growth. So we have designed a 600 hour program. So both a separate electrical program and a separate HVAC program. They both are 600 hours in total. So the way our program is set up, is that you have four levels. Uh, both programs will start with the old trades. Okay, and the old trades is a very unique, uh, you know, I think it, it was always the missing link, is that when someone starts something new, you're not comfortable, right? There's a lot of nerves involved. There's a lot that um, you can say people would make mistakes just because of the nerves. Um, and it's because of their surroundings. They're not familiar with it, right? They're, they're going to job sites and they're not familiar with what they're looking at. So the old trades is really to get someone, you know, a student who's transitioning from student to actual, you know, on the job worker to be comfortable with their environment. Now this is aside from getting involved with their actual task, but just being uh, excited and be uh, able to carry yourself in a safe method, uh, to be aware of what the building materials you are working with, right? Because you're gonna encounter different building materials. Could be residential, so maybe wood, 
right? So a lot of wood, whether it's two by fours, you know, understanding the framing, commercial dealing with steel, you know, bar joists, you know, corrugated uh, roofs, uh, concrete. So the elements are gonna be different. The work that you're gonna be doing is the same, but the elements are different. And that's where you have to get comfortable. So during the oil trades, you will learn not only to work with uh, your surroundings, but to work safely. So our students will all be trained during the uh, 150 hour um, oil trades program. You will be trained on OSHA 30. You will get your training for the eight hour oil prevention and two hour drug and alcohol. So not only will you be safe, you're also gonna have the credentials you need for your resume to allow you to progress to that next step and start your career. Okay, so those are uh, some highlight uh, and attributes from the oil trades. In addition, you'll also be working with hand tools and power tools. Everyone's touched a hand tool before, but have you really worked it the way it was intended? And can you get the job done as proficient as possible because you chose the right tool? Okay, those are some of the criteria you're going over. Uh, measuring twice, cutting once. You know, learning to not only measure, cut, and install uh, during the oil trades but never losing sight in the all trades class of what your career goals are. Because every step and every day you come in, you're working towards your career goals. Okay, so to outline that, to write it down is very important and is a practice that we uh, make the students do. Okay, so that would be your all trades. After that, the students would then go on to their additional levels. So I will show you around um, throughout, but right now I wanted to just make a couple of statements there. Um, so your electrical and HVAC program um, are well constructed so that a student not only gets comfortable with the surroundings, with the tools, but when they get to level one, they'll be comfortable with the theory. How does it work? Do you, have you ever held on to electricity? No, you can't hold it. It's not tangible. You may have felt it on accident before, but we've never actually, uh, you can't, you know, cup it together and, you know, throw it at somebody. It, it's something that is invisible. So the theory is so important. And one of the major highlights from our level one is that when the students are going through that, we reduce our class sizes. And we do that for a reason. It's because the theory in which you're gonna get from the level one is um, very concentrated, but it's also, it's abstract. So you're not able to understand it as easy. So what you have to remember is that we are reducing the ratio of students in the HVAC level one, eight to one. Then you have the electrical during the level one from 10 to one. So, I, I mean, those ratios don't exist. So it's amazing that you're able to learn in that environment, but capitalize on it and make sure that you're able to really understand your trade, all right? Uh, after that, students will move on to the level two and three. So what they both have in common is that it goes into different situations, whether it's residential, commercial, industrial, uh, service, and install. All right, so that's, those are a couple of things that we'll highlight as we go through. Um, but most importantly, I talked about research when I opened this up, is that it is your job as the consumer to do your research. So today, um, I want you to, you know, walk away saying, okay, I learned something new. So what we're going to do is I'm going to attach a, um, a link to our app. So we have our very own app that Electrical Training Center created just for the purpose of research. We not only work with high school students, you know, people that have graduated before, we have a wealth of information that we want you to have to help you make a good decision. Okay, so uh, you would be going to app, so it's app.electricaltrainingcenter.edu, and you can join the over 6,000 people who already use it, past and current uh, students. You have um, contractors that use it as well. So it's just another tool that Electrical Training Center wants you to have to succeed. All right, so um, thank you for your time.